All right, tell you how there, champs. Now, let's see how this Dell XPS 15 9570 games. Now, this model I have here has the 8th generation i9 and a GTX 1050 Ti Max-Q with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let me start by saying if you're a gamer and you're a gamer first, you should get a gaming laptop. This is not a gaming laptop, although this thing can game. Don't worry about that, it can game. We're talking pretty much any title over 60 frames per second, at high settings, 1080p. Just for reference, the last XPS 15 could play any title just about, over 60 frames per second at medium settings. So this is a step up from the last generation XPS 15. Now, of course, obviously there are some titles where it won't do 60 frames, like DSX Mankind Divided. I always use that because it's a system crusher. But by and large, any game, 60 frames plus, 1080p high settings. So that is phenomenal when you just think about that in such a small, and premium package now if you're new around here please consider subscribing i do really comprehensive reviews i don't just tell you specs and this and that i really do go in for a deep dive and i appreciate it if you subscribe and give me a like there i do have a lot of cool stuff on the way so stay tuned for that so we know the specs what about the display we have a 4k display with 400 nits of brightness 100 adobe rgb and what i'd say about this display is it amplifies whatever you're looking at it is a phenomenal display even at 1080p and i did actually test out wait to the end make sure you watch to the end because you'll see that i test out at 1600 and 4k as well but anyway the content looks great on this i don't have any issues with it ghosting or stuff like that when you game if you're used to a high refresh monitor you're going to notice but if you've only viewed a 60 hertz monitor you're not going to notice any difference it will look fine gaming the actual sound on this is actually pretty good too. I may, I think they may have improved the sound because it actually sounds pretty good. You can hear it over the fans, of course, because this isn't that loud. Like compared to some other laptops, especially gaming laptops and even the Aero 15, this is much quieter than the Aero 15. But that's the thing with this. As I said, if you want a gaming laptop, get a gaming laptop with a high refresh rate display and etc. Because anything over 60 frames per second is virtually wasted. All you want is 60 frames per second to match the hertz of the display. And this laptop easily does that. So I've already demonstrated that it doesn't thermal throttle when you load that CPU up. And actually, when I benchmarked it on Geekbench and Cinebench, it was like off the charts, like faster than any other laptop I have tested, period. But what about when you load the GPU as well? How's the cooling? Or do you want the good news or the bad news? Bad news is it does thermal throttle when you load that GPU as well. But the good news is it doesn't really matter because it still plays over 60 frames per second at high 1080p. And I was quite surprised that when it did thermal throttle, the performance degradation wasn't that bad. I was definitely expecting it would drop under 60 frames per second, but it didn't, even at high settings. So bear in mind, with these benchmarks, I'd, I'd done it when the clock speed's reduced on the CPU to make sure that you get the right scores. These are worst case scenario scores. You can actually get more frames per second and I'll explain that later on in this video. But the temperatures will creep up to up to 100 on the CPU and it will throttle down. Undervolting doesn't help, but thankfully I didn't get massive like drops in frame rates. So the game didn't like have big stutters or anything like that. It seemed to be very linear. Although the performance was decreasing, it wasn't by a lot. And it also has that much headroom. It's still able to stay over 60 frames. That magic marker there at high settings, 1080p's. And as you'll see with my footage, I'll always try and include it where the clock speed has dropped. And you'll see that the frames still stay high. So anyway, let's get to the benchmarks. So all these benchmarks, are at high gta 5 is at very high but all the rest are at high 1080p so gta 5 we get 83.6 frames per second dsx mankind divided 45 frames per second now that's the system killer there most games will be over 60 frames per second battlefield 1 62.7 frames per second fortnite which is obviously the best game ever invented you just ask the bunter from box hill he loves it as much as he loves greeks and there you go fortnite 76.7 frames per second and most importantly pubg 76.8 frames per second so you can see this thing can game and compared to last year's xps 15 you're able to play at high settings now instead of medium 
And if you compare it to something like the Aero, which is more of a gaming laptop, I would say, with its 144Hz display, that has a GTX 1070 Max-Q. And where this XPS 15 generally plays between 70 and 80 frames per second, just remember these benchmarks are worst case scenario. You will get up to 90 and sometimes even 100 frames per second. But the Aero 15 will do 80 to 100 and sometimes over 100, depending on the game. So that's the difference there. So if you're a gamer, clearly go with a gaming laptop. I like the Dell XPS 15 because of its usability, battery life, display, premium package, and it can game too, so I can't complain. I'm not a gamer first. For me, this is more of a video editing machine, content creation, but it's also fantastic that I can use it for gaming anytime I want, and I won't be compromised. I'll be playing at high settings, 1080p, and I'll get great enjoyment out of it gaming, without getting deafened, by the way, because it's not as loud as gaming laptops. So that's it. Watch the videos now, keep a close eye on the frequency of the CPU, keep a close eye on the thermals and look at the frame rates. You will see, even when it does throttle down that CPU, the frame rates stay high. I don't know why. Sometimes it was even getting more frames when it was throttling. I don't understand. If someone could enlighten me, let me know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Got a lot more videos on this beast coming up. I also have a couple other laptops in the house, so stay tuned for those. And until next time, guys, tally ho. All right, we have the temps up here. Have a look. Um, we're at 88 degrees on the CPU, about 80 degrees on GPU. We are playing at high settings now. So this is 1080p high settings. Um, if I was to talk about the last XPS 15, it could play pretty much any title, 60 frames per second at medium settings. This will play pretty much any title. There are some titles that won't, like DSX Mankind Divided, it will play at 50 frames or whatever. But pretty much any title, 60 frames per second at high settings. So it is an improvement over the last XPS 15. So, you know, even though it does throttle, and I will play this until it throttles, it doesn't really affect the frame rate. And anything over 60 frames per second is really superfluous, especially if you're playing on the screen. If you're outputting to a monitor, different story, but if you're playing on the actual screen to get high settings 1080p at over 60 frames per second all the time it'll always be over 60 frames per second it won't really dip below that i have to say i'm very happy with the gaming performance would i like that it didn't throttle at all in actual fact it's taken a while to throttle maybe i actually won't throttle on this game that much because Ah, it doesn't have much CPU load, that's why. Look at the framage. Oh, lovely. Yes, on GTA 5 it did throttle more because it was using more of the CPU. Actually, we're using more of the CPU now. Yes, so you can indeed see now it is throttling. But look at the frames. 90 frames per second throttling. What? What? It just doesn't compute with me. It's weird. I'm throttling now and I'm getting 90 frames per second. Why? It was actually more than when it was running at full speed. So even though it does throttle, I wouldn't worry about it. You're getting over 60 frames, 1080p high settings. I mean, what do you got to complain about? It still games like a champ. It games better than the last XPS 15. It's not going to game as good as the Aero 15. Well, that's got a GTX 1070 in it. And if you're a gamer, this is not a gaming laptop. You know, look elsewhere if you're a gamer. But it still games like a champ. Have a look at the frames I'm getting. Wow. I cannot complain. I really seriously cannot go, oh, I've got to get this car. Let's get in. I love this car. see if we can make it throttle a bit. Anything under 2.9 is considered thermal throttling. Really, it's just balancing the power between the GPU and CPU, but let's see if we can get that to get hot enough to back off a little bit.
once it gets over about 90 degrees it'll start backing off but there we go it's starting to throttle but look at the frames they have dropped slightly but I'm still playing at over 70 frames per second again you can see the throttle in there it's throttling at 2.2 gigahertz but the frames are not really affected don't know why that is um, I would expect it to really drop under 60 frames but it doesn't so that is what it is I think you'll like it it can game like a champ ciao all right all right all right uh, XPS which, 15 which, 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 what? which one the two in one or no no this is the XPS 15 9570 so this has the oh, six core i9 um, and it has a GTX 1050 Ti 4 gigabytes and we're running that CPU in the 90s. We are running it in the 90s, but I'm getting a crack in 85. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got a job! Oh, I've got a job! In, middle, oh, no, job. in gonna... middle in middle of winter too, mind you. Yeah, oh, that's like... alright. That's a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it keeps you warm. Actually, the CPU's gone down to 74 now. Oh, the, sure. um, the frames have gone down to 60 hey, frames per second. Oh. Oh, just under over 50. Oh, getting a big drop now. But um, once we land, I know this is normal for laptops, and I don't know why it just does this with this eighth generation uh, CPUs. Once you hit the ground, the frames come back up. I'm gonna. Oh, one of our teammates is dead already. Okay, so I am actually recording at the same time. So oh, yeah, man. That would be oh, shit. extra stress on the CPU there. So I'm getting over 60 fr This is at ultra, by the way. I'm getting over 60 frames per second, ultra settings, 1080p. Oh, I'm getting 70. How good is that? I'm not even concentrating on the game. We're running at 2.0. Oh, you've got you've got all the goodies, haven't you? Got to go somewhere Dude. else. Anything there? I got, oh, oh, yeah, I've got an AK okay, if you need it. Uh, yeah. I'll take an AK. Oh, mate. Yeah, take the this AK. Is, I've got a shotgun. On. Oh, who's that? Is that you? Oh, I don't, no, no. Okay. We're getting shot at. Come in here and get the AK. I'm getting 70 Stop frames here. per second at ultra settings. Oh, AK. Watch it, watch it. Is that it shooting at you? No, no, no. I think they're just shooting at okay. somebody who just died. Uh, what temperatures we got? It's hard to concentrate. <laughs> and play PUBG at the Hussey. At the Hussey, where it's yeah. all action, we're getting over three. It's not throttling at the moment. We're getting nearly three gigahertz, so that's right. So we're not actually throttling. We're getting seventy frames per second at ultra settings. Now, the last XPS fifteen was. Are we going in? Are we going in? Oh, all right, let's go. I need a jacket. Oh, all right. Don't worry let's about do the jacket. Anyway. But the last XPS fifteen used to do it at around. Uh, 70 frames per second PUBG but it was at medium settings this is at ultra settings and I'm getting 80 frames per second at the moment wow all right it is a bit cramped the keyboard for me because I'm used to a full-size keyboard obviously oh hello yeah did you see him did you see him yeah let's let's mess him up eh whoa Oh, I just outside the door. Yeah. If he comes in here, he's mess I'm going to mess him up. Have I got a grenade? Is... No, I don't. I have. We'll chuck it through that door. Yeah. Oh, no, he must be coming around a different way now. Uh... Oh, he's oh, coming in. He's something. doing the Greek. He's doing the Greek. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, I can see him. Yeah. I've got to keep the other guy busy too. Yeah, I don't want to go in because I've got no vest. But I'm no, still no, getting just over. Stay there. I'm still getting over 70 frames per second. Um, the CPU has throttled down a bit. But, Where is he? Where is he? I'll um, get him. No, no, no. He's gone to the other house now. He's gone to the Greek part of the building. Um, I'm still getting over 70 frames per second. Ultra 1080p. This is amazing. Quite amazing, actually. Um, but it is actually throttling under what the G, uh, CPU should do. So, oh, I don't know how I'm getting still 70 frames per second in Ultra. 
That's amazing. If I turn this to high, I'd be getting 80 plus frames per second. So this thing can boogie. This thing can boogie. Now I did have those concerns that it would throttle. Uh, where are these mingers? Oh, M16. And I was right. But it keeps on going back up to 3 gigahertz every now and then. So it's running at basically stock. Yeah, it's 2.9 now. It's running at it. Oh, oh, someone Fish. outside. Who was that? Not me, not me, not me. All right, are we going up? Come on, let's do it. Oh, oh how about behind us? Where? Oh, oh they're hiding, damn it. They're hiding in the room. All right, so that is the thermal capacity of this laptop. This is a 4K sample, by the way. That is what it is. I'm not happy that it does throttle, but at least it still keeps those 60 frames per second. So I can live with it because it's mainly for video editing, etc. But it still games well. So in the end, I'm happy.